going on everybody well today revolves around one question what is a gapra not capra gapra with a g i've had several people ask me what is a gapra and then I've had a couple other people here recently ask me, you know, exactly what it's got going on. So I figured I would do a little build breakdown here. And uh, then I want to try a different set of uh, tires on it just to see how they do. So, yeah, I'm going to walk you through uh, my little concoction of parts here and uh then we'll hit the rocks and see how it does on uh, a different set of wheels and tires so first and foremost this for a couple people who have asked is not an ecto body uh, this is a j concepts creep body they do look kind of similar in some respects but very different um i painted it od green and uh, some tan color um, something that i do on a lot of my bodies uh you see the body clips there not going nowhere I always glue me a magnet somewhere, whether it be on a caged vehicle, I'll do it uh, like around the fuel cell lid or in the bed of the truck or wherever. But handy little tip, especially when you're out on the trail, need to swap a battery or fix a broken part or something. The magnet will keep your body pins from floating away. So the rest of it here, start at the bottom with the obvious We've got two capra axles four-wheel steer um, these axles actually came off of a capra that i picked up not too long ago um, originally the very first version of the gapra it was actually a element gatekeeper uh, chassis with some capra axles and that's where the gapra came from gatekeeper and capra but then it started uh, evolving and going through different versions um, the first set of capra axles they had were some cheap uh, chinese metal axles um there's regular steer axle in the front and drag axle in the rear i didn't do the four-wheel steer conversion until uh, maybe a month or so ago now so that is fairly new um these desert lizard shocks actually came off of that same capra that i got on a trade deal uh, it's got a I, can't remember if it's actually Enjora brand or one of the other, you know, random letter generator companies, but it's a carbon fiber flat rail with a forward and angled skid. Um, biggest issue I've had with that is the way that this is set up you can see that the rear links are almost three times the length of the front ones and this rear drive shaft is ridiculously long um i haven't measured it i thought about buying some uh you know cut your own length drive shafts but 
I just never got around to it. But I've taken, I think, three different uh, drive shafts or three different uh, pieces of the drive shafts. And I actually extended the tube on the back side and then the insert, uh, I drilled and ran a really long grub screw through it and used the full longest insert and then I cut off a sliver of another one and threaded that onto it and then glued everything together on this half. Um, so I've still got my telescoping action here. Um, but the back of it's solid, so it's not going to come out. And then the front is a ridiculously short drive shaft at a crazy angle. And uh, I've had to chop down every piece of that to get it to work out. That was a good bit of trial and error, but it all seems to be functioning pretty well now. Um, I have got right now it is just uh amazon three gear i'm probably going to go back to the uh stealth x trans that originally was in here um that way i can get a little bit of underdrive and then uh i'll probably go ahead and get some overdrive portal gears for the front right now believe it or not as well as this thing is performing no overdrive um, i thought that i still had a little bit in it in the axles but that was the previous set of axles these have none so um yeah that was a realization i came to uh, about uh, half hour ago when i was thinking about doing this build breakdown no overdrive and it is kicking ass um i've got two three brothers g13 pro servos uh, front and rear i've got uh, brass outer portal covers front and rear uh, the ones on the back are at maybe half the weight of the ones on the front. Um, but this thing was super light without the brass. Um, so that's kind of why I went with the metal transmission and then threw some brass on it. And then uh, we're running a Fusion SE 1800 KV and uh, Fly Sky GT5. The wheels are in Jora Deep Dish. Um, they were all white, but the other night I ended up painting them this like metallic copper bronze-ish color on the face of them. Just because I've got like three or four sets of white deep dish wheels. I wanted something a little different. Um, and set of 1.9 J Concepts ruptures. Awesome tire. Um, inside of those ruptures, I've got my own little concoction of a dual stage foam with a little bit more weight inside the inner foam um yeah uh, little 3s battery that is actually mounted on the servo so that is all unsprung weight there definitely helps out on the steep inclines i think that that's about it uh, it's pretty simple but very effective so 
yeah um if you've got any other questions about what i've got going on here uh ask away i'm about to try out uh set of tusks that i've had for a while um they weren't really performing as well as i thought they should so i went through and uh, kind of modified the foam situation last night so we're gonna see if that helps out any um oh we're sitting uh just at or just over a 12.8 uh, inch wheelbase i don't think i mentioned that earlier so it's a a little bit longer but it's not stretched out to anything ridiculous um with the creep body on it and you can really tell that it's a little bit of a longer wheelbase uh, front tires stick out a good bit and then the back tires are right at that back edge um so this section here has really bothered me uh since i built this thing the way that the body's all raked up there and the frame's sitting down pretty low but i've run it like that because having the super chopped up bodies i understand it's a comp style rig but i've just never been able to bring myself to really just go to town chopping up a body and you know just having bits and pieces here and there and having the shock tower sticking up through the the bed and only having a partial bed and i could get this body to sit all the way down on the frame if I wanted to go cutting everything up, but I wanted to leave as much of a truck body on here as I could, so that's why there's ugliness right there in the rear. But hope that gives everybody an idea of uh, what I'm talking about when I say the Gapra. Um, it's it's becoming quite the beast i'm not gonna say that it's the best in the world because by far it is not but it is probably the best performing vehicle i've got and it can conquer some crazy lines so questions comments send them my way i'd be happy to answer them best that i can so we're going to throw a different set of wheels and tires on here and see how they do okay so before i show these off these are not staying on here regardless of how well they do or don't do but i wanted to try these tires on a more narrow rim and these are the most narrow rims that i've got they also have a crazy offset and I have not seen this thing this narrow since I put it together, but so here we've got one nine tusks on some trio wheels. I've got a good bit of weight inside of them and my own little two stage foam set up so i just wanted to preface the video by uh saying that i do not support this look at all i'm just trying to test the tires and the foams out and since this is one of the more capable rigs that i've got i figure they've got the best shot of doing something cool on this rig so we'll hit a few obstacles here and see how they do Thank you. 
Oh yeah. That is very surprising and awesome. I think I finally figured out what the tusks needed. I truly did not believe that they was going to make this new climb here. And they just did really well. Seemed to be doing pretty well on descending too. So I may have to put these into service. I might try them out on the Capra, they're definitely not going on this. Probably gonna call that a day. Uh, I've seen pretty much everything I needed to see. I think I'm gonna use them. Just have to find the right rig for them. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed um, the walk around the Gapra here. Uh, like I said earlier, if you got any questions about it, something else you want to see, just give me a holler. But I think I pretty well went over everything that it's got going on. So, hope you all have a good one. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Later.